Hi, this is Tim from Tiger Astronomy, and I just wanted to do a quick demo of the FITS library I've been working on and been asking for feedback, requests for comments. Um, and I'm going to use, um, actually, because it's cross-platform, Ubuntu Linux 20.04. And once that boots up, uh, we'll be in bash now I don't want to be in bash I want to be in PowerShell so you can now do that on Linux because PowerShell core is cross-platform and it does take a little while to start because oh there we go that's worked really nicely so um, just adjust my microphone CD mount geez on my D drive In the VS projects TA dot object orient astronomy. Okay, that's where we want to be. And okay, so I'm gonna I'm going to demonstrate just um, how easy it is to read in a fits file. So the first thing I need to do is run. Okay, let me um, cat add. There should be a file here called. Um, all right, it's not cat. I'm in uh, PowerShell now, so it's um, ch -ch -ch -ch. can probably moor it. Uh, all right, more dot slash add. That's the one. Okay, so this little script just loads the types in into PowerShell because um, they're .NET type, .NET core types, and um, PowerShell doesn't know about them unless they're loaded. So you have to, you can do this manually, but if you're doing it a lot, it's easier just to write a little PowerShell script to do it. Okay, so. Uh, the first thing we need is a file to work with. So I've got a, uh, yeah, go on. Okay, so I've got a file defined on my clipboard because it's got rather a long path. And uh, so let's just see what's in that. And that's just the file name, of course, as a string. And then we need to create a stream over that file. So uh, we can do that by saying, stream equals new object in PowerShell new object is the way you create instances of objects and we can just say file stream that's it and then we can give it the file and then we need to tell it what we want to do with that file so we want a we want to open the file we don't want to create it or anything like that so we can just set the file mode to open and then we want to say we only want read only access to that file so we can give ourselves read access like that okay and um, we just show the value of that okay so now we have a stream over that file and then we need to create a fits reader so and this is where we're getting into the new code now so reader equals new object not ob, no, ob, new object uh, fits reader fits reader there we go fits reader dollar and we have to give it the stream like that okay and let's just clear the screen um, okay and then we need to read the file in so we say Okay, and get our fits file equals reader dot read header or read this read I think it's read primary read primary header data unit just like that bang okay and then in fits we now have oh um now I made a mistake there because um, 
read primary data header unit is an asynchronous method so it actually returns a task so what we actually need to do is uh, fits equals fits dot result there we go and now in fits we should have okay that's good that's good so we've got a header we've got uh, we've got uh, an image and it's uh, 1024 bytes of data okay so we can print out the headers from that file quite easily by saying uh, something like this so fit dot we drill into the header and we want the header records because there are some other things in there and we want to uh, write that out to the host write host okay and there are our header records and that's a fairly as the name of the file suggested it is a fairly minimal file and um, these are our records now um, notice that this is not the exact text of the header records right so we've got this is actually got diagnostic information in it so we can see for example that this simple record is true and then it, it has no comment the no value there means there was no comment on that record so um, whereas down here we've got an end record which has got no value and no comment okay so um, if you wanted to print out the exact um, text of the header records then you can do so like this you could do so by saying uh, we could use format list and then we could tell it to print out the text property of each record and there you go you get in the exact well it's labeled it um but the this is the exact each each of these records is exactly 80 characters and that's exactly as they appear in the file so there's that and then we could we could say append a history record and write the file out again so we could um powershell is going to make us jump through a couple of hoops here okay so um because i'm using some extension methods and static methods and things like that so um i need to create a couple of items here so we're going to need it we're going to need a um, i use a class called maybe of t which is a which is an object that can either have a value exactly one value or no value at all and it's it's a way of um, avoiding you having to use null because a maybe of t is never null so um I can create that up like this and using generic um, classes in PowerShell is a little bit funky so this is this is what this square bracket syntax is here the square bracket string means maybe of string and then I'm using the empty static method to create an, um, a maybe dot empty which is a maybe that doesn't have a value okay so we can do that I wonder if we uh, print that out yeah it just doesn't just doesn't do anything so you you also can say uh, maybe dot none is true if the maybe is empty so yeah there we go so that's an empty maybe um, we also need a um, a maybe of t with some text in it for the for a comment of our history record so again I've got that on my clipboard here and um, I'm using an extension method called as maybe on this string here so this is basically making a maybe of string which contains this string so that's in comment and now we need to make the um, record that we wish to add so history record equals um now we're not going to new this we're going to we're going to um we're going to ta object oriented astronomy thanks we just transport system fits he, ooh, fits 
header record. Okay, and that's us. Um, we're going to invoke a static method on that class. And that's going to be called create. Create, okay. And now we need to tell it the keyword we wish to create. So that's going to be history. And there will be no value. So that will be our empty object. And then our comment is a maybe a string. So that goes in like that. OK, so now we've got our history record so we can print that out. And there we go. So it's got the history keyword, it's got no value and it's got the comment Tim was here. OK, and that's the exact text as it will appear. All right. And then what we can do is uh, header append header record history record okay so and that just prints out the sequence number um, now um, there is a bit of a bug here and uh, this we know about this and we're working on it but um, if I go back to the point where I wrote out the header like this okay you can see that it's put the history record after the end record and that would um, that would cause that to be ignored because fits obviously understands the end keyword as the end of the header so in the in a future build this this will work properly so um, what we're going to do actually is strip off the end uh, keyword when we read the file in and um, then put it back when you write the file out. So we'll, in that in that way, we'll avoid this ordering problem and always make sure there's an end record on the end of the header. So that's it. I just wanted to, to give a quick demo of it in use. Uh, um, hopefully that's quite straightforward and easy to use. It's complicated a bit by the PowerShell syntax, but in a, in a program, it's quite good. So... Um, let me know what you think. I've been Tim from Tiger Astronomy. Thanks for watching and goodbye.